This thing is massive. Just take a look. It is moving inch by inch and will take several hours just to reach the mouth of the jetty before embarking on its final destination out into the Gulf of Mexico. Did you see the two orange light boats? It was right here along the rocks at Ingleside on the Bay where we found Crystal Garcia, her eyes focused. Been looking at them already. We've spotted them. So, and they've spotted us. She brought her grandson out to catch a glimpse of her husband and future son-in-law, both crew members aboard this $5.7 billion oil platform. Nice to see that something they've been working on for years, going out to sea, but then it's kind of sad because we're going to miss them for a few weeks. We're ready already for them to be home. They're among the dozens of spectators who came out to bid farewell to the platform and its crew, a symbol of years of hard work as it slowly cut through the water, tugboats all around, helping guide it along the way. I actually worked on uh, the living quarters, right, the helicopter pad, and and uh, did some serious time on this on this uh, vessel here. Dee Perales couldn't help but feel a sense of pride. The rare sight, a city of its own on the water. This is a bunch of different people from all over the world, and. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, going to produce uh, the fuel that we need for the next 30, 40 years. The facility will ultimately end up about 150 miles off the coast of New Orleans and has a design capacity to produce 75,000 barrels of crude oil and 28 million cubic feet of natural gas per day. The Sanchez family able to spot their loved one, little Anissa, Estoy en las using a radio to hear her dad's voice. And I think it's an amazing thing because I mean, like, how do you get, like, all that, like, man-made structure, you know? That's kind of, like, impressive to me. These families know it will be a long few weeks away from their loved ones, but wish them good luck as they begin their journey out into the Gulf. I'm missing very much. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.